Hello guys, uh, how's everything going? Uh, today I'm going to introduce a method uh, to import data from website and then import to and put into the uh, Rhino. So you can use it for site design and everything else. Okay. Uh, in this one, I'm gonna I just found a really good website called OpenStreetMap. It's open source and everything in this websites. Um, you can download it and for for your own use okay it's a really cool website you have a lot of information uh, for example in Clemson here um, you can see here uh, we have a lot of land use you know, signals uh, landmarks roads uh, you see in Clemson they have building footprints uh, a lot of a lot of good good stuff that you can use for your projects okay and it's free uh, what you do is just uh, choose your extent and export. Okay. Um, also, you better remember the coordinates uh, of your, you know, the area you export. It, okay. It's very, it's kind of, kind of important. Uh, also, uh, uh, there is a plugin for Grasshopper called Elk. It works really well with OpenStreetMap. Okay. Uh, it can help you, you know, get all the data from OpenStreetMap to Rhino. Okay, really, really cool. So really str strongly suggest you use that. Um, and and then Hera, um, this is another cool plugin that can help you get raster data to um, Rhino. So it's a good, it's a good reference. Cool reference, and it, it also works really well with the uh, you know topo topo line. If you need to import get topo lines or something like that, use Hero. Okay, so let's open it up um, right now, and uh, let's open a Grasshopper. So I kind of uh, already set up the layouts, uh, all the components in here, uh, and you can see here this is my Heron um, uh, plugins and this is um, Arc plugins. Okay, um, for first step is try to get the um, the units of the map, right? Uh, which is unit settings here. Uh, feet is feet. I want to change to meters because it works really well with um, parent and um, uh, erk. So just choose that. Once this was done, and um, um, for for the erk, what you can do is uh, there is two. Component one is location and this is location, and uh, the other is OSM data and this is uh, OSM data. Uh, so what you can, what you need to do is just uh, connect O with OSM and F with file. And uh, here you need a pass. Uh, you need components called pass, and you need to set up the file, which is the OSM file. Uh, you just export it from the website okay um, we click OSM click open see here you immediately have something show up here okay um, and the, the really cool thing about this is it will classify all the elements because there are a lot of layers in here right and it this OSM will help you classify different layers. So if you right click, you see the feature type. So this is a building, right? Um, let me just cancel this. So you see here, um, this is a building, right? That you can change to public transport, tourism, uh, this is a waterway, uh, this is a road, uh, shops, 
sports. You know, uh, I don't think there's office. This power. This different land use. Uh, and also, for sure, we have highway, which is all the roads, okay? A pedestrian or interior roads, high, different levels of roads, okay? Um, and also, you can choose under highway, you can select feature subtypes, which is a lot of roads, right? You, you, got, you can limit what you want to show, right? Trucks, tracks. For example, if I want to show truck, truck link. Alright, we click OK. Then you just show truck, okay? Um, it's really cool. Uh, I strongly suggest you play with it. Uh, right now, let me just show everything. Um, and I want to show buildings, which is here, okay? Really cool really cool and simple okay uh, oh um, the other thing is you need to connect the pipe polyline um, with the W here because the W here is actually uh, all the all points but if I if I hide this one and show this one you will see these are all points okay so you need to uh, by the cost by the points in different lists so um, when you have a polyline, collect them. It'll be really clear to see. Okay. All right. Uh, this is the first thing you need to know. Um, I I I got some other things for that uh, here. Uh, it's just for you know taking advantage of this kind of data uh, for later use. Um, I may have another video about that, but not right now. Uh, so for ERC, this is all you need to know, right? For now, um, and then let's transfer to Hera. Okay, uh, Hera is a little bit uh, different. You know, you you need to do some specific things. The one big issue uh, with working with Hera and uh, ERC is this OSM OpenStreetMap data is they don't line up perfectly. So what you need to do is you need to have uh, coordinates, longitude and latitude coordinates that perfectly um, line up, help you uh, line up, um, you know, between the OSM and the, you know, harem, harem raster or other data, right? So what you, what I do is, I will find a really, um, for example, this is a Cooper Library in Clemson, I guess. Uh, I will I will try to find out a really uh, significant or distinct, easy to tell um, corner of a building, okay? Because all these are buildings, right? Then I will find a, a coordinates in a, of a building and then you know set up here in in her her okay? Um, the way to do it is in Open street map, you just double, you just like um, this query, just double click, then you will have all different things, right? When you click, when you, you know, point your mouse to here, then you see the orange, which means you already selected. When you click it, you have different nodes, right? So you can choose which nodes. For example, these nodes show up here and they have a specific location for it. Okay. So I just enter this location to here. Okay. They're exactly the same. Okay. You know, 33.6, 33.6. Okay. Uh, so I set up the latitude and longitude and as in the hammer. Okay, so what what this will do is, Heron will basically Heron will if you preview that uh, you will see this this longitude and latitude Heron will set up these points 
or it's zero zero zero, okay, which is show up here. So the Cooper library that this specific um, corner will be here, okay, because every every um, coordinates you enter, they will it's just by default, just for some reason the way these people write this software, um, every coordinates you want to you know reference, uh, want to enter as a reference, it just it just have to be zero zero zero, okay? So in this case, it was here, and it was basically this point is Cooper Library, okay? It's this corner of Cooper Library, okay? So all right. So what I do is in so this first step of in Hira. And then the second one, um, by the way, uh, all these components, the setup, uh, you can find this in my, um, I think I have another Hiram video uh, to introduce all the components of Hiram. So you can go over to on that video to learn how, why I set up this kind of, all this stuff, okay? And this, uh, all this is about get raster imagery. Uh, in Hiram, they provide a lot of Image right, street map, physical map, imagery, topography, a lot of stuff. Okay, um, you just need a boundary curve to define that. So, what I do is I just draw a curve, I guess, just somewhere like that. Okay, and um, you just right click, set on one curve, and click that curve. What what's cool about this is you will find out this point is exactly the right you know the right corner point of Cooper Library which is this one okay it line up perfectly okay so then the next step is really really easy what are you gonna do is just uh, move this image to the OSM which is here okay because this point is actually this point. Okay. So I made these um, components layouts uh, in Grasshopper. So just to move it, move just move the image there. So when you enable it, you will see. Yeah, let me cancel this one. So you will see layouts. You line up perfect. Okay, everything line up perfect. Okay, really really cool. Okay, then the next uh, is about topo line. Um, it's actually really easy. Uh, all you can do is first you need to download the image um, DEM, uh, which is you know from National Map. You just you know draw a circle. I want to download it, and um, in DEM you you can choose different resolution you want. In this case, I choose. You know, and then find the products, and then you can download. It. You can just download it to your computer. Then you have it. Okay. Um. So Heron, when you have this image, then Heron can immediately use it. Take advantage of it. Um. Which I think is this one. Yes. So what you gonna do is very simple. Um. In Heron, uh, there is one called import topo so you just drag it here and then connect the boundary as the curve uh, which is this one okay this one as the boundary right and also the file pass as the image file uh, in this case I just downloaded it so this was the image file so you click okay it will create a like surface okay um, also, just make sure um, you need to uh, need to move, move. Um, you need to move this because if you don't move, um, for example, if you don't move, the service will show up here. Okay, uh, so you need to, you know, do the same thing with the with this like uh, aerial satellite rest. Okay, do the same thing. You need to move them. So when I move them, the everything line up perfectly. Okay.
okay um, you will find out uh, this is a service which is the exact same topo with in reality so we need to just do a contour and then show up here okay per really really cool really really cool so everything you have you can line up everything and get everything just put them in Rhino okay it doesn't cost you that much time okay and everything's free so I really strongly uh, encourage you to learn this okay if you have any questions just let me know it's a little bit complicated to start but I just want to show you there is a way to do it like this okay cool thank you um, let me see you next time